I'm watching it. You're watching it. Our eyes. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Say what up, what up, what up? What up, what up, what up, what up? So what up, what up, what up, what up? What up, what up? Yes, I see it, baby. What up, what up, what up? Back at it again. YouTube, she got not Chavez trucker. Back at it with another video. Uh, coming to you on a, uh, I think today's Thursday, July 22nd, who knows. I ain't shot a video in about three weeks or a month, man. I figured I'd holler at the people. Coincidentally, I ain't been in a truck in just as long. Um, been over a month since last time I actually was, uh, drove a truck. I know in one video when the dude spray painted my truck, uh, you know, I was driving it because I was taking it to get it cleaned up. But in terms of actually... Uh, Yeah, but anyway, man, I ain't actually uh, drove a truck or did a load in over a month, man, pushing two months. I actually had this truck in the shop, man, down in Kenworth um, for a little warranty repair, but apparently uh, parts is on back order, so the truck been sitting there. I dropped the truck off at like uh, the 25th or something of June. Here it is, July 20th, and, um, you know, I still wasn't ready. The problem with that, with this truck right here was the, uh, the control that turns on the fan or whatever for the bunk, you know, AC and heat, just stopped working. I replaced the motor myself, thinking maybe the, uh, the blower motor went out, but that wasn't it. Um, replaced something else. Everything I could do myself. I did, and the, the only thing that was left was this control, this stupid control module, and um, it was going to have to be special ordered, and they like, yo, you know, if you paid up 500 bucks to get it here, and that's not the, the problem either, you stuck with it, so how about let us check it out to make sure that's what it is, so I ended up leaving the truck, and the truck sat there, dog, this whole time, and they confirmed my suspicions, which was it was this thing. Problem is this little piece. I don't know if y'all can see it. That's what uh, you know. You use it to turn the actual fan on. Uh, it's on back order, man, and they have no idea when they're gonna get it. So at first he was like, "Yo, we could put you as a truck down, and uh, we might be able to get it in three to five days." So I was like, "Bet," because I was about to take uh, my family on vacation anyway. So I'm like, "That's cool. I'll leave the truck here." Um, Ended up going to New York. I was in New York for a week. Um, came back, calling them. You know, I got the little app to see if my truck even been started or if it's, if it's moved or anything. And I could see that my truck hadn't even been turned on since like July the 2nd. And uh, 
I'm like, all right. So, uh, you know, my wife wanted to go down to Miami. So we went down to Miami uh, for another week. Just got back from Miami on, uh, on Monday, which was, what, the 19th. And I track it. And I look and I see that they still haven't even turned my truck on since July the 2nd. And here we are. At that time, it was July 19th. So I'm talking to dudes in parts, man. He like, look, man, we got people that's waiting on hood latches that been waiting since uh, June. Uh, I mean, not June, since uh, April. And, you know, all types of uh, pack car parts that are just on back order, man. So he was like, uh, best case scenario for this stupid thing right here is uh, it was like the middle of August or something. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to just come pick my truck up because, uh, ain't no sense of it just sitting there doing nothing. Because I'm local anyway. Y'all know that. It's not like I'm sleeping in that bunk. So that's all it is to control to turn on the AC for the bunk. Um, it's a little APU in here, but um, like I say, I, I'm local anyway. The only time I even turn that thing on is, yo, you know, I let my little four-year-old ride with me a lot. So I always had a, and he get cold easy anyway. So I have it on low just to make sure he ain't in the back burning up. Cause the front works fine. If I'm sitting right here, I got AC in my face. And if you blast it high enough, you know, that should have reached the back. So, you know, this little thing right here isn't a, something I absolutely had to have because I'm not sleeping in this thing overnight. And I'm not even in this truck for extended hours like that, man. Y'all know I don't go nowhere. I'm, I'm sitting at a dock right now. Uh, like 90 miles from Charlotte, man. I'm in Bishopville, South Carolina, so it is what it is. But like I say, other than that, man, I ain't really got much going on. I just get, uh, you know, random messages from people saying I need to post more. The problem is, you know, I don't, I don't really like posting videos when I don't have absolutely nothing to talk about. You understand? You know, it's not a reality show. So, you know, just sitting in front of the camera just talking about my life ain't really my motivation. But uh, that's what's up with me. Um, you know, took my wife to, uh, we was in New York for over a week. She wanted to see Koreatown. So <laughs> we up in Koreatown at a hotel uh, right outside of uh, Times Square. I think I was on like, uh, I think I was on like 38th. And Koreatown is like 32, so. That's what it was, man. Kicked it in Manhattan for a while. Then went to see my people out in Queens. And then, uh, you know, circled back, went to Virginia to see my uh, wife's uh, mother. I went to a cookout. My dad, my dad lives out in uh, Virginia now, so he had like a little cookout, housewarming type situation. Went and checked him out. Came back to Charlotte and do what I do. And the truck still won't ready, so. Wife like, let's go to Miami, man. The problem with the Miami trip was we decided to drive. Y'all know I got a four-year-old and a two-year-old. And from Charlotte to Miami is, I'll be talking like 700 miles or something like that, man. So, uh, taking kids on an extended road trip, man, it makes you want to invest in an RV. <laughs> Especially since, yo, I got trucks and all that, but... My wife been bugging me about getting an RV for years, and that damn long ass ride with a two year old that don't like being in the car seat made me wish I had an RV. Because at least then I could let them run around, jump on the bed, or something like that, you understand? But, uh, you know, we made it. I told you I got a, a little condo down there in, uh, in Hollywood, Florida, man. So we go down that way and chill out a little bit, some R&R. &R. But that's it with me, man. What's up with y'all, man? How the, how, the, how, the, how the lanes moving for y'all out there, man? How the money looking for y'all out there? How many of y'all that finally got your, uh, your authority up and running this summer while the freights is hot? I mean, I know inflation is a, a big deal right now, but, you know, the rates is hot for a lot of people. So I hope y'all out there taking advantage of it because, you know, we know how gravity works, man. Everything that go up eventually comes down, man. So everybody out there, uh, you know, living their best life out there, generating this revenue. Hope y'all are, uh, you know, putting a little something, something to the side just in case 
things start to decline, things start to slow down. Because I know everywhere I go, whether I'm in my car, whether I'm in my truck, I see now hiring signs everywhere for these these businesses, man. So I don't know what people doing if they still just chilling at the crib, getting unemployment and all these COVID benefits or what. But a lot of these warehouses now are understaffed. So, you know, things that used to take 30 minutes to an hour to pick up, get loaded, get unloaded, taking a lot longer than that because they short staff. So, I hope y'all out here planning for all that. And I hope everybody out there prospering, man. Anybody on the uh, on the fence about doing their own thing, if you're a company driver, excuse me, man. Just have some huddle house, man. But if you're on the uh, fence, you're a company driver thinking about doing your own thing, only bad thing about now is inventory's down as far as like trucks go. So trucks, you know, it's a supply and demand. The demand is high now for used trucks. So the price is high too, dog. So y'all out there about to buy your first truck or about to buy another truck to add on to your fleet. Be careful, man, because everything's marked up now. Boy, you're talking about at least a ten, fifteen thousand dollar markup. Yikes. Y'all be easy. She got not your average truck or you hurt.